Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever your current life situation is. Hello, YouTube. This is Jeffrey Kite back again with another episode of Kite's Curiosities. Going to take a look at some comic books in uh, this episode. Uh, this will be taping number two of this video. Um, you don't get to share the excitement of the packs that I busted open because that video, for whatever reason, it just won't load. So we're just going to re-record and start over with what we got. Now, I will admit, the thumbnail, yes, it is clickbait. I did not purchase a $450, $500 key comic book from the 80s out of a $10 Walmart pack. But I did purchase the pack, and it was, it, it was this. But it's the 2022 facsimile reprint of The Amazing Spider-Man number 238, which is the famous issue that is a, a, the famous key issue of the first appearance of, excuse me, Hobgoblin. And um, just a beautiful, beautiful piece right here. Um, they even did the remake of the back cover. Look at that. <laughs> it's just, that is unreal. That's um, advertisement of uh, Super Cobra um, on the Parker Brothers uh, game consoles and stuff. So you know, I'm going to enjoy reading this. Um, they even have the old advertisements in there. Look at that. Remember those uh, uh, old advertisements? Look at that. That's so cool. That is awesome. So, um, it is a facsimile, and according to some recent sales on eBay, um, these can go from anywhere between eight dollars to ten dollars. Um, I saw one sold for fifteen bucks. Now, how I do pricing on eBay is I include your bid and the shipping. Whatever the, I, I incorporate it all in there into one price. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty neat to, to see that. So, I mean, I saw this, I, I promise you, it was in, I got it right here. Oh, somebody throwed the trash away, but anyway. It was in, well, you'll see it in the, well, y'all saw it in the thumbnail. It's in that pack, one of those uh, um, seven comics for $10 pack. And I saw it, and I, I was like, I normally don't grab those. I don't buy those unless it's something that I just really, really enjoy and I'm interested in. And there might be a, a nice little key comic on the cover. So I know I'm going to get at least one book that's good. And so when I saw that, I was I was like, I got to have that. I have got to go home with that thing. So I'm so happy that I did. Um, also, out of that pack... If you've never bought a three comic, I mean, excuse me, a seven pack, seven comics for $10 pack from Walmart, I'll get it out eventually. What it is, is you have that one comic loose on the top, and then you get two three comic bundles. So for a total of seven comics. And so I bought that with the Hobgoblin on the front, and then I opened it up and I was just, I was blown away what was in that pack. Um, it was wild. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of show you the the fodder, I guess you could call it. Just the, you know, the nine major books, but you know, I'm gonna enjoy them as reading. Got um, the Fantastic Four. This is volume six from 2022, I believe. Let's see, looking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 2022, Volume 6 of Fantastic Four, number 45. So, it's a pretty nice little cover there. They're kind of looking off into space. And I like it. Oh, that's pretty good. That's going to be some good reading. Um, I got this little small key here. Uh, Shang-Chi and the Ten Rings, number one. It is a Walmart exclusive because of the gray back right there. Mm -hmm. 
pretty nice little nice little piece there. Not bad. Then I uh, got the Maestro World War uh, 1000. Issue number was is three. Yeah, issue number three. And I guess that's the Human Torch on the cover. I'm not sure what this what Maestro is, but uh, that's definitely Human Torch right there. That on the cover, and then got this uh, nice little New Mutants number twenty six. There. It's another good book there. So, so those were in there along with my Amazing Spider-Man number two thirty-eight fast assembly, along with these two. These were, I was, I mean, I was really shocked to to get these out of a ten-dollar Walmart pack because usually you don't you don't find but maybe a $4 book and then a couple of, you know, maybe $1 books. Cause you know, they, they don't want to sell something that's valued more than what their asking price is. That's just bad business practices right there. So, but, um, I got this right here. Avengers 1 million BC. It's a Walmart exclusive. You can tell cause of the gray back. Avengers 1 million BC. Now this is, um, according to Key Collector, a key comic because it is um, an origin story of Thor, but it's um, uh, what's it what's it called Reconned or something like that, where they where they they tell the origin story and um, retconned that's the the term i was looking for not not recon retconned they they tell the origin story but add a new little wrinkle or give a new piece of information that could lead to um a different way you can angle a story or a character or something like that so that's what that's what retconned means they they Tell, take an original story, but kind of add a little additional piece of information so that they can kind of uh, bring about something new to uh, the story or character. So I, I was pretty pleased with that. You know, it's um, listed at about a $5 book in a key collector, but um, sales on eBay, uh, one sold today, actually, uh, March 23rd, 2024, for uh three dollars and fifty cents and uh, it was free shipping on that so uh, 350 and then i noticed one sold back in january for 12 canadian dollars so that's right around eight fifty eight set eight dollars fifty cents eight dollars and 75 cents in us dollars so i'm pretty confident in this being uh, classified as a five dollar book um then i saw this and i lost my mind i was like wow this this looks pretty neat now i'm still kind of learning the, the the new the new comics um it looked pretty special and when i got to looking at it i was like man this thing is special and it is um another one shot it's not a Walmart exclusive, but Star Wars Obi-Wan issue number one. And this is the one of one of ten, one, one out of ten variant. Um, for those of you who are kind of new to comic book collecting or you're just watching my video and you're not into comics, it's kind of like uh, trading cards, you know, with the one out of ten you know, one of 10 type, type deal with that. Um, basically, a one out of 10 comic book issue means out of every 10 issues, they're gonna have one variant cover that is this particular one. So this is a one out of 10 
variant cover. I'm handling it very, very carefully, and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Tell you why in a minute. Um, I, I looked up some prices on these things, and in a CGC grade of 9.8, just recently, of this comic book, recently sold in January for $150. Excuse me. In December of 2023, this same book sold for in a CGC grade of 9.8 sold for $61. So um, just some some really just I think there's some value here to this comic if I were to get it graded. And also I saw autographed copies that had, uh, you know, where uh, Ewan, McGreg Ewan McGregor, who is on the cover, he's the guy that plays Obi-Wan Kenobi in some of the Star Wars movies, and signed copies of this comic in a grade of 9.8 have sold from anywhere between 200 to $800. Unbelievable, unreal. Um, needless to say, I was very pleased with my with my ten dollar purchase there. So um, I, all I can say is, I mean, just believe me, guys. I have no reason to lie. Um, um, just you know, just gotta believe me and trust that you know. Just started having audio issues; it wouldn't load up, but. That's the truth, man. That's what I pulled out of that ten dollar bundle. So tell me what y'all think. You know, you know, I didn't pull a four hundred and fifty to five hundred dollar book out of that bundle, but I did pull um, at least you know, see this uh, in a grade a raw grade. This goes for about ten. Uh, Amazing Spider Man number two thirty eight in a raw grade. I mean, I'd, I'd put that about ten dollars. And then this $5 Avengers key right here is pretty good. So out of all of that, I would say I pulled I pulled about $20, $25 worth of, worth of good comics out of there. Plus, you put out the uh, Shang-Chi. That's a key. It's about $3 right there. So I got $10, 10 5 and 3 That's about $28 worth of comics out of a $10 bundle. Tell me what you think, guys. I'd love to hear from you. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. Till next time, y'all take care now. Have a good one.